Hello everyone. Back again with Film Recap. In this video, I will recap one of a drama thriller film from 2016, titled Monolith. Before we get to the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps and have a great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. At the beginning of the film, we are shown an advertisement video from a car brand called Monolith. This car was awarded as the safest car in the world, with each component having its own advantages. Advantages in technology, glass, car body, tires, and there is even an anti-roll sensor. All of this can be controlled from inside of the car, or via an AI-connected smartphone app, called Lilith. After that, the scene switches to one of the users of the car who is shown bringing her kid. To be more specific, this woman is Sandra, and her two-year-old son, David. Good evening. How can I help? Sandra had planned to go to her mother-in-law's house, but her husband didn't come due to his work as a pilot. From here, we can see this monolith branded car is highly sophisticated that it can even determine the weight of each passenger. 100 at 22. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I got it. During a long trip, Sandra tried to call her husband, and Carl was staying at a hotel near the central airport at that time. It's not clear why he hasn't been home for a month, but what is certain is that Sandra only knows that her husband is busy working. Meanwhile, Sandra can't do much when her child is fussy, where she overcomes it all by giving her son her cell phone. Long story short, Sandra arrived at one of the gas stations that also has a mini market next to it. Sandra changed David's diaper in the toilet inside the mini market. After that, she bought David a snack with in the hopes he wouldn't be fussy. Suddenly, there is a stranger who looks like he wants to break into Sandra's car. But Sandra easily overcomes the situation by simply using her cell phone. It didn't stop there, she didn't even notice that David was no longer next to her, because she was already busy with the sophistication of her car. She had looked everywhere until she suspected the stranger's child was hers. Sandra was panicked at that moment, but it turned out that her child was with the three women in the toilet earlier. Not wanting to be bothered any longer by those three women, Sandra immediately got into the car and activated the vault mode feature. All secure. More specifically, this feature really makes the passengers inside to avoid all kinds of disturbances outside, and stay in a safe condition. After leaving, they continued on their way to David's grandmother's house, which was still far away. To fill her boredom, Sandra called her childhood friend who turned out to be at a hotel near the airport. And even more surprising, her friend, Jessa, made her realize that she was staying with Carl. In other words, Carl had an affair with Sandra's friend, which in the end made Sandra very disappointed. Sandra had been so disappointed that when she arrived at her mother-in-law's house, she didn't even have any intention to go inside, and everything fell apart in an instant. Moreover, Carl didn't pick up the phone either, pretending to be busy, despite the fact that he was cheating with Sandra's own friend. Without further ado, Sandra decided to follow her husband to the central airport in Los Angeles. The distance is not a joke, which is 320 miles away from this city. Lilith, as a smart AI, informs Sandra that there is a serious accident on the expressway that will slow them down from reaching their destination. There's an accident on the freeway. Delays to be expected. Therefore, Lilith suggested taking the off-road route, which would save them time rather than waiting in a traffic jam. As a result of the situation, Sandra took that route, despite the fact that it is rarely used by people. The freeway in 50 miles. Then, it was getting dark, the fog was thickened, and Sandra didn't see any settlements other than the electrical substation, which was located in this middle of nowhere. For now, the issue is Sandra is too nervous and panicked that she doesn't realize that there is a deer crossing. From this situation, she immediately went outside to check the condition of the deer which was half dead. Sandra even left her child alone in the car while the car was in neutral. Then, there was a moment when David pressed the app on the cell phone and unfortunately, he opened that AI-connected apps. Then, without Sandra realized, David started activating vault mode, which we all know that this feature will protect passengers from all kinds of dangers and disturbances outside the car. Well, if this is the case, Sandra won't be able to do much, since David who is only two years old doesn't understand anything either. 
No matter how Sandra told him to move his finger, but David still doesn't understand at all. Unfortunately again, Sandra, who had been carried away by excessive panic, immediately shocked David and he ended up dropping her cell phone. Can't imagine how a small thing can turn into a big problem in an instant just because of a mother's carelessness. What impresses me even more is the strength of this monolith car, which is not just an advertisement but all of that is really seen when Sandra tries to break the glass. When there was no other option, Sandra then walked in the opposite direction just to check the conditions at one of the electrical substations she had seen. In this place, Sandra couldn't expect much because there was no one else there. But at least she did found some useful tools such as a flashlight and a wrench, which of course she would use to break the glass. Unexpectedly, when just about to leave the substation, Sandra realized that there was a wild animal that had seen her position. The animal was a wild coyote who attempting to harm Sandra. To be honest, the safety of this car was really great. However, because it is too safe, the technology will make it difficult for careless owners like Sandra. In short, Sandra woke up from her sleep during the day. Then, she just realized David's condition which turned out to look weak in the car. The heat of the sun is also measured by one of the features in the car, where the temperature continues to increase from time to time. It's really bad since this road is so quiet, that there isn't a single car passing by. Sandra had no other choice, until she decided to walk while following the direction of the road in the area, despite the fact that she had never been here before. At the risk of leaving her child hot in the car, Sandra which was already dehydrated still continued to walk. Fortunately, she accidentally found a river in the area that she could drink, and used to wash her body. Sandra went through tens of kilometers by crossing a steep road in order to find help. Sandra finally saw a former airport and noticed a plane in that place. Meanwhile, the temperature inside the car is getting hotter, the situation makes the monolith car immediately activate the emergency fan. Sandra now has to race against the time, even though there is no one at the airport. Then, she found a gallon, lighter and alcoholic drinks, and two airplane tires. With these items, she immediately set fire to the two tires to create a thick smoke that might be noticed by someone. After that, Sandra purposefully filled the gallon with a small amount of river water to take to her car. When she arrived at the car, David looked weak with his face starting to turn red and burnt. Sandra could only hope that her efforts were not in vain while watering the car's roof. Furthermore, she kept hitting the car with a wrench, and of course no results were seen up to this point. She knew that her child could no longer be saved, and had to die in this high-tech car. However, her assumption was not entirely correct, because David still showed a little movement in his fingers. Even in this condition, she still had to confront a coyote, that had been following her last night. She no longer cares if the coyote would bite her, since she wants to be with her dying kid. Well, it turned out that the coyote deliberately came to eat the dead deer, and because of that, Sandra's car was no longer stuck and was moving backwards. <laughs> Luckily, there was still a small piece of rock blocking the movement of the car. From this point, Sandra had an ultimate idea that she would soon apply to her car. Even though the chances of success and failure are 50-50, she doesn't mind since she had no other choice at this point. She then immediately destroyed the rock that was blocking her car tire using a wrench. After succeeding, Sandra purposefully pushed her car into a ravine with David still in the car. It doesn't take long, the existing features work immediately as soon as the sophisticated sensor begins to detect the gravitational pressure at that moment. After the car hit the ground, Sandra immediately went down to approach her child who was in the car. It turned out that Sandra's idea was not a wrong idea, because the car had automatically unlocked when it landed on the ground. Without wasting a time, Sandra then helped her son by taking off his jacket, and cooling his body. At the same time, the monolith automatically reactivated the system, until Sandra was able to drive again. 
In that moment, Sandra hoped that the car's technology would help her to break through the high cliff in front of her. And of course, it's not a big problem for the car. Clear. Amazingly, Sandra was able to return to the off-road. She then takes the toll road, just like everyone else. At the end of the film, Sandra and David arrived at the hospital. Luckily, David's life was saved. And of course this moment will be the most terrible moment for Sandra in her life. Then, the film is over. Despite the fact that the film is over, I'm still interested in seeing what happens to her marriage to Carl, her cheating husband. Okay guys. That's all the recap for Monolith 2016. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.